from lo-fi party shots to professional scientific applications, the OM system TUF TG7 is able to cover many genres of photography with its unique capabilities found in no other camera on the market right now. It is most likely the compact, go-everywhere, indestructible Digicam companion many photographers have been waiting for. My name is Thomas Eisel, I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria, and I don't dress like the typical outdoor camera user. But when OM System asked me to review the TUF TG7, I did not hesitate for a second. Because although my attire suggests otherwise, I have plenty of occasions where I need a rugged, pocketable Digicam. And after using the TG7 intensively for a month, I now welcome you to my in-depth review. Let's get started. I'm usually not a huge fan of unboxings, but this camera is an exception. Why? Look at this great eco-friendly packaging. I really like that over the regular printed colorful boxes. Because let's be honest, you are not persuaded by the box to buy the camera, but by the camera inside. So really, it's perfectly okay to have just bland brown cardboard boxes for cameras. And to be honest, I think this one looks really nice. Enough talk about cardboard boxes, let's see what's inside. Here we go. This is the OM system TUF TG7. Look at that. What else is in the box? A little wrist strap, one battery, and a USB C cable to connect the camera and to charge the battery in camera. There is no AC adapter and there is no battery charger. And I'd say that's perfectly okay. Another quick look at the camera. Beautiful design. Feels very good in the hands. I can tell that already. The TUF TG7 is first and foremost an outdoor camera, and this shows. It is waterproof until 15 meters, dust proof, 2.1 meters shock proof, 100 kg crush proof, and freeze proof up to minus 10 degrees Celsius. The optical system is covered with a dual pane protective glass with anti-fogging properties. In addition to its ruggedness, the camera is exceptionally well made, competing with top-of-the-line professional cameras in that regard. The rugged metal plastic camera body is confidence-inspiring and every cover is safeguarded against accidental opening with a separate lock. Compared to previous Olympus TUF models, the grip has been redesigned for better handling. The TUF TG7 is a truly pocketable camera for three reasons. First, it is small enough to fit even in a shirt pocket. Second, it will always be the same size as the lens does not extend even when zoomed. 
And third, it is sealed against any pocket lint and other debris that usually gets into every compact camera's lens at some point. The menu is based on previous Olympus models, but offers fewer settings and less control over certain shooting functions, like live composite. This makes perfect sense for a compact camera and speeds up the overall camera handling. To change the most important camera settings, the TG7 uses the Live Control menu in addition to the dedicated non-configurable function buttons of the camera. Powered by the TruePic 8 processor, which the camera inherited from the professional Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera, all camera functions exhibit extremely low latency. Even the art filter simulation is very speedy and mostly lag-free. What I personally really like is the fast power on after the camera went to sleep. This is almost instantaneous and very useful for street photography, but also on events. Overheating the camera is practically impossible during normal use. When used for videography, the camera can overheat in very specific corner cases. For example, at 20 degrees Celsius, after consecutively recording 4K 30p clips for about 35 minutes, the camera overheats and needs a cool down period. One of the strengths of the OM system TUF TG7 is the interplay between the 4.5 to 18 mm f2 to f4.9 zoom and the 12 megapixel 1.5.3 inch sensor, which I will examine in detail. Let's focus on the lens for now. This parfocal achromatic lens with its nine elements in seven groups is well known for its close focusing capabilities of up to one centimeter. This is equivalent to a seven times magnification. The sensor lens combination provides a field of view comparable to a 25 to 100 millimeter lens on a 35 millimeter film camera, covering a wide variety of shooting situations. The resolution values of the combination are not outstanding if you compare them to a micro four thirds camera, but they are remarkable for a compact camera. I measured the highest resolution at 4.5 mm f2.8. Examining a neutrally processed RAW, the lens sensor combination delivered up to 0.225 cycles per pixel at ISO 100. For printing, this means that up to 8 by 10 inch, the camera will deliver as much resolution as most commercial printers can print, which is around 150 line widths per inch. However, at regular viewing distances, a lower quality of around 18 line widths is sufficient. This means that prints with a picture height of up to 15 inch are possible. It goes without saying that this is more than enough resolution for social media and web applications. On a side note, the lens did not exhibit any noticeable decentering. Lateral chromatic aberrations are present at all focal lengths and f-stops, mostly in the blue channel, which results in blue-yellow colored aberrations. They can be relatively prominent at the edges at all apertures and focal lengths, at least when viewing uncorrected RAW files. The lens exhibits a significant amount of geometric distortion. At the wide end, barrel distortion is present, while at the long end, pincushion distortion is observable when examining uncorrected RAW files. This is typical for a lens like this and nothing to worry about as OM Workspace and the in-camera JPEG engine correct these issues flawlessly. For a compact camera, the dynamic range of the TUF TG7 is very good. Of course, recording RAW is imperative to make full use of it. 
Shadow areas captured at ISO 100 can easily be brightened by 2EV in post-production without any significant loss of fidelity. In practice, I recommend paying more attention to the bright values of the separate color channels. It is way easier to clip highlights than to lose shadow details with the tough TG7. Within the standard sensitivity range from ISO 100 to 5000, the TG7 produces images perfectly usable for most applications. Image noise tolerance is a very subjective matter, but at least until ISO 800, even critical photographers should be very happy with the results. All in all, with the correct settings, even the extension range from ISO 6400 to 12800 will get the job done, especially if the images are for electronic display devices only. Due to the sensor size, the amount of background blur is limited, even at wide apertures. Be that as it may, the bokeh is quite characterful and can be utilized creatively especially at the long end. Tested at 4.5 mm and f2, the bokeh in the center is well rounded and exhibits a speckled pattern. In the extreme corners, the bokeh assumes a triangular shape. Tested at 18 mm and at f4.9, the bokeh does not exhibit any distortion in the corners, which was to be expected because of the lens's optical design. In many ways, the image quality the TUF TG7 delivers is way better than the sum of its parts might suggest. Why? Because of the OM system image processing engine powered by the TruePic 8 processor. I've already mentioned how distortion and chromatic aberrations are corrected effortlessly, but there are many other things to mention. The adaptive sharpening algorithm increases edge contrast and therefore the perceived resolution. With the correct settings, the processing engine will effectively suppress false colors while leaving the organic looking luminance noise intact. The result is an image with a fine grain structure and good details, even at higher ISO settings. To capitalize on that while simultaneously reducing time spent on post-processing, using the in-camera JPEG engine or OM workspace is imperative. Unfortunately, the in-camera processing options are limited compared to models like the OM1 and OM5, but they are definitely sufficient. In the photography modes, the stabilized image sensor provides around 2.5 EV of stabilization according to OM system. In my experience, it seems to be more effective than that and allows for critically sharp images even in macro situations. One of the most basic yet most important features of the TG7 is that it has a mechanical leaf shutter in addition to the electronic one. It opens an array of possibilities, for example, artificial light flickering at high frequencies is handled with ease. Cameras without a mechanical shutter, like those in smartphones, often produce sensor readout banding in those situations. It also allows the camera to perform in-camera pixel mapping which is very useful in the long run. Thanks to the mechanical shutter, the TG7 can perform in-camera dark frame subtraction called noise reduction by OM system. This is usually found only in professional cameras and will decrease image noise in the RAW and JPEG files even at low ISO settings. The TUF TG7 is capable of blackout-free 20 frames per second raw burst shooting with the electronic shutter. After the first 20 frames, 
the frames per second will drop, but nonetheless, this is more than enough to capture the action. Additionally, the TG7 features the Pro Capture mode with 10 frames per second. It keeps the last 5 images in the buffer as soon as the shutter button is half pressed. Once the button is fully depressed, those images are stored and all consecutive images until the shutter button is released. Pro Capture is very useful for capturing unpredictable action and usually only found in high-end OM cameras. With interval shooting, up to 299 images can be captured and, if desired, composited to create a 4K time-lapse video in-camera. As the camera allows for in-camera charging during operation, there is no limitation in regards of shooting time. The exposure smoothening function prevents sudden jumps in brightness should the brightness change during the recording of the time-lapse. In-camera focus stacking can create a focus stacked JPEG and save separate RAW files for post-production focus stacking. Although the controls are a bit more limited compared to professional OM cameras, the live composite mode is able to deliver. This mode is only found in OM system cameras. It records a base exposure and then only overlays brightness changes in the frame, making it well suited for light painting, star trails and creative photography. The built-in flash of the OM system TUF TG7 has a guide number of around 2.8 at ISO 100 and the illumination it provides is wide enough to cover the complete focal length range. On top of that, it doubles as an optical flash trigger to control other Olympus or OM system flashes remotely with full TTL metering. This is very useful for professional macro photography but also a nice option for the next house party. Just place a compatible flash on a flash stand and get professional lighting. Simple and effective. The relatively powerful LED serves four purposes. First, it will act as the AF assist light if needed. Second, it can be used to illuminate a scene permanently. Third, it is a useful video light and last but not least, it can even be enabled when the camera is turned off to serve as a pocket lamp. With firmware 1.0, the camera can only perform HDR1 in camera, which expands the highlight dynamic range in the resulting JPEG by about one stop. HDR can only be accessed via the scene menu, found on the mode dial and no exposure compensation can be applied, limiting the usefulness of the feature for advanced photographers. The field sensor system of the TG7 can record location data, temperature, altitude or depth and heading, even when the camera is turned off in a separate log file. If you want to keep track of your expedition, or your party night because you expect a blackout from excessive drinking, this one is for you. It is very difficult to describe the autofocus system of the TG7 to a photographer who never used this particular OM system compact camera. In short, the contrast detection system gets 90% of all shots right out of the box. To get the last 10%, you have to learn how the system works. Then you will get quite incredible autofocus and face tracking performance for a compact camera, as well as fast AF acquisition even in difficult circumstances. This is in line with what I call the OM system experience. 
most AF systems of OM cameras take a while to master and understand. This is not a negative. It is simply more difficult to fly a spaceship than to drive a car, right? Manual focus features include focus peaking and magnify. The latter works for photography only. I've used manual focus quite a bit for street photography and some ultra close-up shots. The experience was in line with other compact cameras like the Sony ZV-1. For most applications, the TUF TG7 is a capable video camera. 4K 30p recording with no crop factor delivers very pleasing quality with a time limit of 5 minutes and 27 seconds. Full HD 60p comes with a time limit of 10 minutes and 46 seconds. The high speed recording modes are noteworthy. Full HD video can be recorded with a frame rate of 120p for a total playback time of 1 minute and 19 seconds. Even higher frame rates of 240p in HD and 480p are possible, but the latter applies a significant crop. The built-in stereo microphone is quite sensitive and delivers good enough quality for basic video recording. I'm recording this little demo clip in the lobby of a Viennese hotel, which is of course not an easy environment for recording audio with a built-in microphone. But I'd say that the audio quality of the TG7's microphone is adequate and you can probably understand pretty well what I'm saying. In general, I'd like to remark that the TG7 is of course not a dedicated video camera and I would not recommend it as such, but it is definitely more capable than a GoPro or a smartphone. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go for a walk. For this little vlogging test, I've enabled the movie image stabilization, which applies a digital crop to stabilize the footage, and as you can see, this works pretty well. Additionally, I've set everything to automatic, but I've also enabled the wind noise reduction. Wind noise reduction applies a digital filter that you can also replicate in post-production, but it is very handy if you want to post the footage directly to social media after recording it. So although the TG7 isn't a vlogging camera in the first place, it can definitely be used as such. And if you are traveling and you don't want to bring another camera for vlogging, you are definitely set with the TG7. Overall, the video mode is tailored to fit both the user of an action cam and the more advanced user with specific video needs such as ultra macro video, for example. It takes a bit of learning to utilize the full capabilities of the video features, but mostly it takes trust. You cannot set everything like you can on a professional grade OM-1, so you just have to trust the TG7 to do the right thing. And most amazingly, it usually does. For example, the video autofocus is very reliable and focus changes are very smooth. Even face detection works really well. However, you cannot make any configurations, you just have to use it as it is. The surprisingly effective digital image stabilizer, as well as the option to record vertical video for social media, round off what is a capable assortment of video features. Connectivity is key for a camera that should accompany you everywhere you go. First and foremost, the TG7 can be connected with a power bank for in-camera charging. But apart from that, the camera inherited the wireless capabilities of its bigger OM-1 brother. This means that you can control the camera with your smartphone and transfer all images, RAW and JPEG, as well as video and log files from the field sensor system via Wi-Fi, utilizing the reliable, convenient OM image share, available for both Android and iOS. Image editing functions built into OI share are a little bonus. 
what I really appreciate is that you can even connect the TG7 with your PC via Wi-Fi and transfer files utilizing OM Workspace. No need to constantly remove and reinsert the SD card. The true extent of the tough accessory ecosystem deserves a separate video, but it is important to mention it when reviewing the camera as this really sets this camera apart from any competitor and because it is a true force multiplier. You can get the FD1 flash diffuser, which is a waterproof ring flash attachment that can illuminate macro shots and create interesting effect shots at regular distances of your friends at the next party. With the LG1 ring light attachment, ultra close-up macro shots and video at 7 times magnification is possible. And of course, it doubles as a video ring light. Other useful accessories are the filter adapter, which allows for the use of 14.5mm filters, like a circular polarizer for example. If you already own the RMW R1 wireless trigger for your OM1, you can use it for the tough TG7 as well. Last but not least, I'd like to mention the optional UC92 charger with USB. It is very compact and can be attached to a power bank, so your spare battery charges in your backpack while you are on the go. Even after this in-depth review of the OM system Tough TG7, I still feel like there is more to say about this camera. For example, it has very solid battery life and you don't need more than one backup battery for a day out. So let me describe the OM system Tough TG7 in a few sentences. It is a truly pocketable Digicam companion with class-leading build quality and environmental ceiling. With almost endless options and features, it is ideal for the demanding specialist, those willing to learn, and also for everyone who just needs a stylish, rugged camera with useful auto functions. And let's not forget, you get industry-leading ultra macro capabilities, coupled with versatile imaging performance for the price of a macro lens. For in-depth insights and professional user tips, I recommend my OM System Tough TG7 Expert Guide available via the link down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.